Hello. I'm going to have a <clears throat> talk about a few things here. I just want to give everybody a reminder that there's still time to enter my giveaway. Um, I know you probably can't read these the way it's set up, but I just wanted to put them out there as a reminder so you can check my other videos and, and go over those. Because you still have like a week to uh, you know to enter and there's uh, lots of good stuff in there and I'm constantly throwing more in so that's that um, I wanted to um, tell you that uh, Laura Dennis Dennison from uh, uh, follow following the paper trail is coming back to YouTube and Friday she's going to uh, do bird houses they're so cute too so i uh, just wanted to let you know that you know if you want to be a part of that friday at 7 7 p.m i, I don't know what 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 time eastern or i i don't know i, I don't know uh she's in washington so it's probably not eastern um anyhow uh, she put the stuff on her blog uh the information on there but i did catch the uh part of her class so I'm going to go over some, some things. Uh, she never fails to light a fire under me. So I, I just love her, her creativity. She's been, she's been a great inspiration to me. Um, I hate these scoreboards, how they gather stuff in these little cracks. <laughs> One more thing to make us nuts. Okay, so um, I just want to want to go over some simple things that drove me crazy when I started making cards. Um... I didn't understand the uh, the A2, the A9, the A4, whatever those numbers were. And a lot of times, you know, people that make cards, that's that's what they would say. Okay, you know, we're going to make these minis out of uh, A7 cards and envelopes, you know. Uh, you know, and that didn't mean anything to me, so I had to go look it up and so just wanted to, uh, you know, kind of let people know the basics. So this is like uh, card making 101. So the two that are the most um, standard are the are, are I, I I I don't know I, to me I I use this size a lot because you can do more with it but I don't know. So this is a standard size. This is an eight by eleven piece, just folded in half. And these two are really easy for me to remember because then this size the A2 is just this taken you know in half again you know it's that it's uh one 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 half of this folded in half again and that's the a2 and it's five and a half by eight and a half folded so these two are a little trickier to remember and this is what they're they're called out there you know this is a standard a9 this is a small regular you know you'll you'll hear that too um, and this is a medium regular A6. And this is the beginning dimensions. These are before any folds. All these dimensions are before folding. So this is six and a quarter by nine and a quarter. And the way I remember this, if they say an A6 card, is that it starts with the six. The dimensions start with six and a quarter by nine and a quarter. So that's that size. And this is just called the regular. And I guess really this is more the size that you see in, uh, in uh, you know, CVS or, you know, Walgreens or wherever you're picking up, you know, cards at the, you know, and, 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 and this size. So, um, yeah, this is a seven, seven by ten, you know, starting you know seven by ten and then just fold it in half so those are the basic card dim dimensions and what they're called what those A's mean so if anybody's wondering I figure you know if I wondered about it somebody else may be too so okay so what she was showing was um, an adorable uh, mini that she was working on of course and it was like the sixth 
uh, class of a series, so I got to see it mostly put together, and it is adorable. So, um, but she was making envelopes to put inside, which, you know, I buy the little bags to put in there, and, and I can make an envelope to fit anything, but, um, this is really simple to me now. It will be you, too, but, uh, you know, I didn't, didn't think about making these little small envelopes like this, so, uh, you know, yeah, these are, these are what we're gonna, gonna be making. I, I just, uh, made another one and I already put it in this mini I had made a, w a while back and I stuck it in here because I thought it would be so cute in there so uh, yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick that down right there so it goes with these colors and uh, I, I was just testing it you know and, and and we get to use our punches and you know I have a few of those and uh, really it's it, it, it's a lot of fun so you know this tool. So this fits in here like that. And then all this looks very, uh, you know, ominous and, and, you know, like technical. Here's the deal. <laughs> you have to start with the square. That's the big trick. You have to start with the square. I don't care what you're making the envelope to fit. You always start with the square. Any one of these that you make a an envelope for, like this eight and a half by eleven, you have to start with a twelve by twelve sheet of paper. Now see, this is says. I don't, I don't know if you can see that. Let me let me get that up there closer. Let me stand up here. I don't know if you can see. And if you have one, maybe you can look on yours. I don't know. It says uh, A9 right here. And then over here, it says 12 by 12. That's what you're going to start with. Right? So, this is that's what you have to remember. Whatever you're going to make an envelope to fit, you have to start with the square sheet of paper and it has to be a couple of inches bigger than what you're than what you're trying to you know make you of course you because you're covering that so it's just got to be a couple of inches bigger so uh... it's real simple um, we'll start with uh, with these just cutting up one one sheet of eight eight uh... eight and a half by eleven piece of cardstock you can get four envelopes out of that. You can make two of this uh, bigger bigger size here and two of the smaller ones. So you just want to line it up to the to the zero here on this triangular piece. And then uh you want to score it at two inches. And then you want to do the other side. These are your A lines. So these are both the same. Score it at two inches. And then you want to turn it to the B line. And this is going to be two and a half inches. And again, two and a half inches. So, and we just want to bend them all. <clears throat> Here's what you want to make sure happens. That you have a sheet big enough that these two lines cross. If they don't cross, then you're not going to be able to to cover what you're trying to make the envelope for. Okay, so where these where these cross these these little uh, corners here, we're going to cut those out. I'm going to try to not be anal about this. Ok, 
okay and this is what the point that you'll get to with the um, the punch the the envelope maker that you're seeing everywhere <clears throat> she said they're sold out everywhere this is what it punches out but it's only gonna punch out <clears throat> you know so big you know if you have a score a score pal you you you, you you're not gonna need that you know you you can you have the liberty to do you know many different sizes not just the not just the ones that are listed here you know or just the ones that you could punch with that with that punch you can make all these to these here all these cards and every one in between as long as you start with a square that's a few inches bigger that, that's it so uh yeah we're gonna gonna get to use ours so we'll uh punch these uh punch all these corners and I love this but you know I don't I don't use it very much but it looks so cute with this we're just gonna so cute then you get these little things everywhere and I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, and then, you, you know, now would be where you, you know, want to start do your inking. So I'm going to try, this is uh, new, it's um, a uh, Memento London Fog ink I just got. And um, so how this is going to, you don't want to waste, you know, what you're doing. So you can close it like this. Right, or you could close it like this, right? If you didn't want it to, and uh, what I did on the on that one is uh, she had she had one that did the corner and and go went down the side, so a smaller punch. But I I don't have that. Um, I I have. Um, just uh, you know I have some bigger ones <clears throat> and I have this one that that punches down so so what I did was um, you can punch this oh some kind of something in there yes I think I'm on the wrong. Yeah. Yeah, so I need to be over. I need to be on this one here. Sorry about that. Okay. When you're when you're, you know, I'm a hands-on kind of learner, so this is probably confusing cuz it would be for me. You just got to do it. Oh. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> but not to worry because I'll just close it like that. You know? So, I could ink up all the, you know, all these edges. And if this is going to be the way this closes, all the envelopes end up doing this. But I don't like that. So, I always just round that off. It's just a softer kind of look. And... And it looks like that. And, you know, I would do the same in here. I don't like that that's, you know, sticks up like that. So, and you don't have to be perfect about it. You just want to soften the look, you know, and not have such a point sticking out there. So, going to be seen there. What's going to be seen there? So, and again, 
I would I would take these off too. And you have your little your little envelope that you know you could stick in a mini. You know, and I would finish you know inking around the whole thing. You know, all the oh, I like this one. I like this gray. It's really pretty. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So then we would, you know, I I get this uh, scrappy tape in an eighth of an inch um, dimensions too for books and stuff that I'm working on. You know, uh, I use the quarter inch, but for for little stuff like this. I'll just use this. This is uh, it's fast, and I don't have to wait for it to dry. And nothing's gonna be stuck into it, you know, a uh, tag or anything. So, and there you go. You know, that will fit a regular size tag. And, um, so, l let's do, uh, the little one. So, out of that same piece, you can have, make another one that size. And then, we're going to make the baby now. So, this is two and a half inches squared. Alright. So, I really, I don't remember how I scored that. So, let me, let me check that. Okay, it must be uh, one inch. One and a half. Okay. So, A lines, one inch. Yes, you want to you want to hold this down too. That's kind of hard when you're doing a little baby one. So you want to make sure everything stays where it needs to be. One inch. A line. One inch. Now we're on our B line. I'm going to do one and a half. Yeah. One and a half. Make sure it's in there. By one and a half. So you can see the lines crossed. Right, and I got the little corners that we need to cut out. So real quick, I cut these out. So you know, this dimension is not on this board, but it's a square. You know, you can, you can make it because, because it's a square. So, I'm just going to do all the, all the corners. And you can kind of look at it and see which end you like better. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, now this is what I would do to that since that score line, that's just from me cutting in to take the corners off. So I would take that off. But, you know. Oh, ain't that cute? And I don't know that I would even bother, you know. I probably, I probably would, you know, round these off. And then, you know, it really shows up when you ink it, as as everything does, right? Not happening until it's inked. And then you can ink this. I need to get more ink. Alright. So I can... I'm, it's a little small to uh, use that uh, tape, so I'm going to use wet glue. For a second. Sticks. I'll finish up inking around here. Good. <laughs> well, that you can see how that's gonna look, and that fits these little baby tags. And you could even put, you know, a little bit bigger tag in there like that, where you could still see a little bit of the top, or just you know little ones, maybe a couple little ones. So, <clears throat> that's that size. I just think they're so cute. I'm going to be making up a bunch of them. So much fun. So, I was thinking, you know, that's a pretty big difference between this size and this size. So, I said, well, let me try the, the four inch and see what that looks like. So, I haven't done one of these yet. So, we'll see. So, and now, you know, I don't have a pattern to go by where to score it at, so I'm just guessing that, you know, I, I know the lines are going to have to cross, so I think I'm going to start at, uh, I think I'm going to do one and a half for the A line. I really don't need to do that twice. This, that thing will cut cut your arm off. This little thing is so sharp. Okay, so this is the B line. So I think I'm going to come up a little bit more and I'm going to do uh, two, two inches. Two, maybe one and three quarters. That's what I'm going to do. One and three quarters. One and three quarters. Okay. You can tell our lines cross. We got to cut the little things out. Also wanted to see what it would look like out of this craft paper I just got. Okay. Let me see. I 
think I'll punch it with uh, with this since it's a little bigger. Then you can use a little bit bigger punch. Maybe that might be too big. Be too big of a punch. Okay. Well, you're good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. That's the top and the bottom. I don't know about the sides, though. I don't know. Let's see, maybe. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> that might be a little messy there. Then you might want to change the dimensions then, you know, once you try something. Now, I know I would go back and make this a little more narrow, you know. But, you know, it's it's fine for for now. I like that fold better. So, let me clean up that corner. That corner. Ooh. Let me another. Or you could use the little sand sandpaper if you want to you know, be perfect about it. I'm not really liking that. Um. So I hope you guys are seeing what I'm doing. I'm just taking the I'm just taking these edges off, these these Street corners like that. I just think it looks a lot softer without that hard edge there. Okay, now we're inking. this ink color. London Fog. Okay. Yeah. This is hanging out a little bit. It's bugging me. Okay. <laughs> you know how we get anal about certain little things? Yikes. Now I can ink around the whole thing. down. I want to get a little better crease there. Okay. Well, that's a cute size that goes in between here. So you know, even even uh, two of them together looks adorable on a page. You could have—I don't know where I was over there. If you even saw that, <laughs> they, you know, sitting on a page, two of them together would be cute. Okay, that's it. Uh, 
thanks for watching. Uh, I hope it helps anybody with the uh, card making stuff. And uh, make envelopes. It's so much fun. Thanks. Bye.